Okay, so I worked all day in the garage yesterday to bring the stuff out here. I did not know it was going to be a terrible storm and flooding. So, I have some leaks in the tarp. All the stuff I brought out here, I did put on pallets. Uh, but you can see where the water, the water ran in. There's its trail all the way down. All the way down here. And uh, didn't realize what a very low spot this is. So, started out with a round nose shovel because that was right there, but I need to go get my chopping spade to cut these roots. Um, this is what happens when you live in a swamp in Florida, in a flood zone. These kind of things can happen um, within minutes. <laughs> you just never know. So this is what I'm dealing with today. I have to dig a drainage ditch out here. Um, probably over there, there's a little hole. So I'm gonna keep digging all the way over there to that spot. But, yep, that's what's going on. Right, Lenny? Hey, Lenny. Lenny. Say bye. More water. More water. More dead branches fell right here because that tree limb came from this tree that is slowly falling apart. So I cut all the limbs off and drug it over here to use as one of my snake props. Because uh, the head, or that looks like a head and then it curves down. So I'm going to use that for my snake prop in my haunted house scare. But yeah, this dropped out of this tree. Somewhere, somewhere up there. Oh. Yep. Okay, I have stuff piled over here. There was a flood last night. As soon as I brought everything over here. Luckily, I did put things on pallets. Um, this is actually a table that has leaves. But I don't have the leaves. Um... I'm going to put legs, two legs on this side, same with the other half, and that's what I'm going to put my mannequin on so that it looks like we're going to saw her in half so he can put the chainsaw all the way through the metal. <clears throat> and this thing is... Um, <laughs> It's actually like a headboard and a footboard that they both fold in half with hinges. Um, it's very strange. My son brought it home a few years ago and then <clears throat> he got like put outside and moved around. So I had used it in my garage to... Um, do stuff with that put wheels on it and uh, a couple legs that way I can move it around in the garage but I thought oh I can use this as my as my well um just put some foam board around it and uh, make it look like a stone well it's already built and it's a little shorter than the pallets and um yeah i think it'll it'll work out better and uh yeah i'll show you some more stuff later so my moat is completely full 
and overflowing into both little ponds, which is not good. <laughs> so, um, hmm, I'm gonna have to dig something, um, I guess I'm gonna have to keep digging over here because we'd stopped right about there. <sighs> so if I just keep digging out to that one, then uh, some of it'll go down and then make another little area right here to go down. As you can see, I'm already uh, pouring sweat. All right, so the plan is to um, take some of the, let me get back here, to take some of the stuff from the um, tent to the garage because I'm going to be putting the haunted house in the tent. So, it has way too much stuff in it that is not Halloween. Alright, it's starting to drain. But, I think this just filled up. You can kind of see it's still going in. But it's about to fill up. So, I gotta try and dig it out a little bit more. Actually, a lot more, but, um, I'm about to sweat to death. <laughs> this is what it looks like from digging. Alright, so I just use this bucket to, uh, this little nail bucket to get a bunch of the water out of here. You can see the root I'm dealing with here. Um, massive. <laughs> so, bad spot to uh, pick <sighs> next to a tree, but that's where, where we're at. And um, I think it's having a hard time now since it's getting so low draining this way because this point is higher than that point. So it looks like I'm gonna have to dig down some more. You can see it's gone down some. Still needs to go down more. All right, so I gotta change my wet clothes and put rubber boots on and uh, hear thunder. <laughs> so um, yeah, more rain. So, um, yeah, then I'd walked over here and checked this side and noticed that the whole tent flooded everything. Shit fell down. I mean, it, it is just. bad. It's bad. <laughs> How deep this is. Yeah. <clears throat> so this is where, this is where we stopped digging. But I'm gonna have to continue. I think I'm gonna even put the shop back out here or something. I, I don't, I don't know. I need a, uh, need like a fire hose to pump it into the woods. Alright, uh, so it flooded again in here and, um, I just can't get this stuff out of here fast enough. But, the area that I dug the ditch for, but 
as you can see, it's even deeper now. So, still don't have a pump. So what I've been doing is taking this here. <clears throat> filling this up and dumping it over here with two hands of course but yeah so now I've got this little puddle over here started so yeah you can see it's flowing so I'm gonna keep doing that. Okay, so. So I have water here after about 50 gallons. So I just took a break. Now I'm coming back to uh, dump some more water. Okay, so I've decided to speed this process up with the shop vac. And I've got it stationary here. I'm just letting the bottom out as it gets full. You can see the little holes I dug and it's still draining. So I'm just waiting for that to fill up. But you can see it's starting to drain. And I dug a hole, or dug a ditch over here, before I got the shop back out. Um, over there is really bad. Uh, it's part of my greenhouse out there. And it is flooded. So I'm going to have to lift all those bars up. Because it is just a um, little lake back there. Lenny's all dirty. Look at him. He's so dirty. He's all in the mud. It's so muddy. It's muddy. Look at this. Look how muddy I am. Everywhere. Muddy, muddy. So, just waiting for this to fill up. Because that holds 12 gallons. And, uh, when this is filled up, it's about 12 gallons. So I've probably dumped over 100 gallons by now. This is the other side. You can see, this is the, uh, oh, the uh, high side. It runs down. It runs down. This is no good because I'm gonna have to do the same thing over here. This is just slap full. But there's nowhere else to go except from this side. Well, no, not really. Except to pump it right over there. Unfortunately, uh, yeah, it's very, um, very deep out here. And then it goes all into the woods, and that's all poison ivy. As you can see all the woods are full of water. My swamp garden slap full. Um, just trying to cut a trail over here, but uh, I think that's deeper over there. Yeah, it's full everywhere. Full, full water. There's my shoe. 
should <sighs> try to put it up high so it sheds water. The bad part about this one, it's in the low spot. Can you tell? It's so big, couldn't put it anywhere else in the yard. Took the, took the root rake and pulled some of the edges back, give it more room. Uh, I just don't know what else to do. <laughs> All right, so this is the next day after I used the shop vac. This puddle is dried up, it's leading to the woods. And then this one, I think maybe drained over here last night because this is still full. So it drained there and then it drained over here. So I'm gonna suck that out. Let's see what we got. All right, that's the beginning of the haunted house. Um, I will have more videos, but I've been super busy. Um, miss everybody. Hello to all my gift basket makers. Um, I've been doing a lot of hard work. Uh, no fancy work. <laughs> been doing a lot of dirty work lately. But I miss everybody. Hello. And, um... I just had to rest a little bit this morning, but I am getting back at it. Um, been battling the weather. Lots of storms, lots of flooding, but um, I'm working on it every day. Um, I've actually done a lot since that video. It was That was July 31st, and today I think is September 11th or 12th so stay tuned I'll have more videos bye everybody